Welcome to Ambien Software Training. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Device Management module to add and configure RFID encoders. We'll walk you through the process of adding a USB and IP encoder to the Ambien's Access Management software. From the Ambien's homepage, click the Device Management module. Note that only Ambien's operators with elevated rights will be able to see this module. Installing the required software. Before we can add an encoder, we need to install the Ambien's client. This software is required to add an encoder or connect to the maintenance unit. Click the Install Ambien's Client icon in the toolbar and click Download. Once downloaded, run the simple installation program. We are now ready to add encoders. Adding a USB encoder. Begin by connecting the RFID encoder to the workstation using the supplied USB cable. Click on the plus sign to add the encoder. Now we can configure the encoder options. Enter a unique name to identify the encoder. Then under Encoder Type, select Kaba RFID Encoder. PMS Encoder ID is only required if you are using a third-party property management system. Specify a number between 0 and 99 to identify the encoder to your PMS. Otherwise, leave this field blank. Click the drop-down to select the MAC address of the encoder. This value is automatically detected once you connect the encoder to the workstation. This field will match the number on the sticker underneath the encoder. Select USB and click Save to finalize the configuration. The USB encoder will appear on the left side of the screen with the status of Online. Adding a TCP IP encoder. Again, connect the encoder to the Ambience workstation using the supplied USB cable for the initial configuration. Click the plus sign to add the new encoder. Enter a unique name to identify it. Select Kaba RFID encoder. Enter a PMS ID if applicable. Select the MAC address of the encoder. Now select TCP IP and enter the IP configuration provided by the hotel's IT department. The IP address can be static or dynamic. Lastly, specify the IP address or the name of the server where Ambience is installed. Click Save to finalize the configuration. Now disconnect the encoder from the USB cable and attach it to the network using an Ethernet cable. The encoder will be powered via PoE, Power over Ethernet. Modifying encoder settings. Send configuration on save is an additional option that displays after saving an encoder configuration. If you modify any option after the initial configuration, change the switch to yes. Upon saving changes, Ambience updates the encoder device with the new details. Deleting an encoder. When you delete an encoder, all configuration information associated with the encoder is deleted. Select the encoder that you want to delete. On the encoder's toolbar, click the X button, click the trash bin icon, and click Yes to confirm. The encoder is deleted. In this video, we saw how to add and configure USB and IP encoders using the Device Management module. For more information on this or other Ambience topics, consult the online help or look for other Ambience training videos. For customer service, contact Dormacaba or visit us online at dormacaba.com.